what we have here is the eight foot Home Depot stackable jack-o'-lanterns. I actually got this last year, finally getting around to making a video about it. I'm still popular this year though, so hopefully if you haven't gotten one yet year one, hopefully this is your year to get one. And what's really interesting about this is how easily storable this item is for it being a total of eight feet once it's assembled. There's five stackable pumpkins in total. This would be one of them, so there's four other smaller pumpkins inside of this pumpkin. So let's go ahead and uh, assemble it. This bigger cord with this uh, switch on it is for the on off, it has a built in timer. Get the power plug and plug it into these two prongs. Here's the box where the power plug comes in. We're going to notice that there's two holes in there for these two prongs to go in and we're going to also notice that this part is flat. This part is flat so we'll line up the flat with the flat and push it in and we will slide this up and tighten it so it uh, has like a water barrier I suppose. This is definitely an outdoor decoration. The original instructions here. So now that we have the smaller pumpkins out of the biggest pumpkin, uh, let's just go ahead and open the next one up. And rinse and repeat these steps, take a pumpkin out. But if you like, we can take a closer look at what the inside of a pumpkin looks like. One side has these metal hooks. These metal hooks are gonna attach to this side and hook on and then you'll lock it in place. The pumpkin to be flush on both sides and you go ahead and pull the loop over the latch and then the spring hinge will lock it into place. This little pumpkin is so cool. It's probably one of my favorite ones to be honest with you. Just the shape of it and everything. It looks the coolest for some reason. So let's go ahead and latch another one. And I understand that this doesn't have the um, the stem on yet. But that's usually the last step. But let me just go ahead and grab the stem just in case you don't want to stack it. Okay, for science, I'm going to go ahead and plug these in and show you what it looks like when they're not stacked. In the box, you're going to get this uh, attachment and it's labeled part K. So you're going to take that part K wire with all of the attachments on it and you're going to go ahead and connect one to each pumpkin and screw it in. Situate the pumpkins however you want. Probably going to want to hide the wire behind them and everything like that, but I'm just showing you real quick. Let's go ahead and plug that in and screw it in. Turn on your pumpkin and all of these will be lit. I recommend putting this cord behind that, hiding it and everything like that. Uh. Okay, so we're gonna take the base here, part B to it, and it has a locking pin. So we're going to go ahead and put it in there, push the pin, slide it in, and we're good. Now go ahead and move this tab out of the way. As we're going to put one of the part C's in, one end will go in this hole and the other end in this hole. So go ahead and slide that in. Make sure that tab is pushed out of the way. Then you're going to go ahead and slide this in there. So now we're going to flip this tab to prevent it from sliding out. The other one right here. We're gonna put one end into the base and we are gonna now slide this guy into this hole. Then they want you to move the tab. Now that we're this far, we're gonna go ahead and take the biggest pumpkin and lift him up and slide him onto this base. Up and above. So the base of that pole is going to come through the stem. There's like a plug at the top of the stem that you're going to pull out. 
And what's cool about this plug on the top is where you connect the next pumpkin. Before we put the next pumpkin on, we have to get part D. And we're going to go ahead and attach it to the top here so that the next pumpkin will be stable. So you just go ahead and put it on top and screw it in. So now you're going to take the next biggest pumpkin, which is G, lift it up, put it in the center of this. And then one of the trickier parts is going to be uh, connecting this to the wire at the bottom of G. Another part D and go ahead and add it to the top so we can keep stacking pumpkins. Okay. You're going to slide it on through and I kind of like to leave it off to the side like that, have it not lined up so I can screw this thing in real quick. Here, go ahead and put that on top, slide that on in, angle it off to the side so you can go ahead and plug it in and screw it in, slide her on through, and let's go ahead and get our last pumpkin. Come off to the side somewhere, don't forget to plug it into the previous pumpkin for power, tuck in all the, the wires to them on. And there she is. Five beautifully, perfectly stacked pumpkins for your trick-or-treaters pleasure. This one is a A plus tier one, extremely versatile, extremely cool, the perfect Halloween decoration. It's fun for everybody. It lights up, it's sturdy, it's durable, it's indoorable, it's outdoorable, and it's amazing. If you don't have one, get one. You at least need two of them for that symmetry, or you can have one stacked, one not stacked, so you have a full-on pumpkin patch. All right, guys, subscribe. Leave a comment if you like what you're seeing. Let's keep this Halloween train going. If you ever wonder how to fix a broken jack-o'-lantern, it's easy, of course. You get a pumpkin patch. Guys, sometimes I go ahead and put this on in the living room where I usually have a Christmas tree because Halloween needs to be just as important as Christmas. All those great Christmas decorators, come on, guys, show up for Halloween. It's time. Let's not forget that it has an on and off option, constantly on, constantly off. And it also has a timer feature, which will allow it to be on for six hours on, 18 hours off. Do yourself a favor and get a pumpkin stack. If you wanna see more things like this, if you wanna see more assembling type of videos or Halloween store walkthroughs, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and leave me a comment and a like. Let me know what you like, and I'll let you know what I like. Now, if I had to, a year later, talk about something that I would have liked, I wouldn't have mind the option to have this on a flame flickering type of mode. I feel like that would have also been pretty epic, but as it stands, this thing is a towering eight feet masterpiece. Good job, Home Depot. Good job. Home Accents Holiday. You guys need a high five. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.